Today on the program, we're going to be answering the traffic and environmental enforcement question in Lagos State. And of course, I'm going to be bringing my guest to the microphone. He's been around for quite a while. Uh, CSP Adetayo Olusegun Akirele is the chairman, Lagos State Task Force on Environmental and Special Offenses. It's nice to have you in the studios. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Victor. And you're welcome. Yeah, I'm good. All right. So it's been a long time coming. For you to be on the program uh and this is your first time featuring on the program since your assumption of office as uh, the chairman task force so let me start by saying congratulations to you on this appointment thank you very much all right so how are things faring with um the task force since you assumed the office yeah we are doing great with um success and um, progress okay you need to project a bit more to the microphone so that we can hear you very well. So things are moving good right yeah, now yeah. with your uh, outfit, so to say. Exactly. Now, for the purpose of clearer understanding, so what is the mandate of the task force on special and environmental offenses? Um, the mandate of uh, the task force, let me summarily say that, is to address um, infractions in the environment and uh, transport sectors of the state uh, by way of enforcement prosecutions and um, and um, uh, uh, prosecutions of uh, offenders mm. in accordance with the with the with the laws okay so now we're talking about um, offenses that relate to the environment offenses on traffic is that it yes um such as um like um arrest of uh street traders okay um violators of um uh, road traffic law um operators uh mechanics um those operating on road i'm um, on roadside um violators on blt corridors and uh, and um the quacks in the medical professions okay so you guys have you enforce that as well yes and how different is what you do to that of uh, rrs uh, the rapid response squad uh, rapid response squad is um basically to complement the workforce of the legal state police uh, uh, command okay they respond to security emergency within the state so they are quite different from what you do. Yes. You go beyond those down. You go towards the environment and uh, even look at issues that goes on in traffic. Yes. As, um, on the other side, the tax force uh, is um, saddled with um, environmental traffic uh, issues. Okay. You, and, you, you um, enforce all of those ones? Yes, 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 sir. Mm. All right, then. So let, let's look at, you know, some of the things that you must have been doing and of course how you've been addressing that ever since uh, you uh, you know you assumed that uh, mantle of uh, the chairman of the task force so you've given us the difference that exists between you and uh, that of uh, the rapid response squad so let's take some time to reflect a bit on your vision for the task force so if we are to glance at that vision now what's the vision you're bringing to the task force um we have tried as much as possible to be public friendly in our enforcement and um, also to have a proactive uh, um, enforcement of uh, the, 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 the state. Okay. Yeah. Right. And what you're trying to do now is to ensure that you bring some kind of sanity, sanity to the state. Mm. All right, let's talk about some of your interventions. So far, so good. Um, you assumed your face that was July? Today makes 76 days. Wow, you will count the days. So office. let's say two and a half months. Yes, sir, not so, up to three months. Right. So how's yeah. it been? How's it been for the tax force? Yeah, we have uh, we have tried so much and uh, a lot of people are commending our efforts and um, we have touch virtually all the five divisions of the state that is uh, Ikeja, um, Ikorodu, Lagos Island, Epe, um, Badagri. Badagri. Okay. And so you've have, touched these five divisions? virtually all the five divisions in all the 
um, tasks that we are expected to carry out in all the areas. So let's look at some of those mop-up actions that you're going to take out, take up in these uh, two and a half months. What are some of those prominent ones that you know, uh, since you came in as the chairman of the task force, you've made some kind of interventions? Like the growing concerns on the issue of uh, traffic within the states, when I came on board, I started with Oshodi. Okay. Which, of course, I believe those that are using that route, they can call, I mean, they can, you know, I mean, testify to, to, to what we have done in Oshodi. After sanitizing Oshodi, we moved to Yanopaja. We have cleared um, Yanopaja and also for those people that use that uh, route too, uh, they can testify to it. We have moved to, um, we have taken care of uh, um, other areas like um, um, we went to uh, Somolu. Okay. Uh, yeah, we were in Mushi, we were in Ikeja, we were in. Um, um, okay, you've done Oshodi as well? Yes, we have taken care of Oshodi. What about my, my two? Yes, my two on top of that bridge. Okay. You know the the um, the nuisance there is um, that of street traders. Okay. They have taken over that my two bridge completely. As at the time we came in, and uh, even some uh, some uh, people are selling um, petroleum products on top of that bridge. On top of the bridge. The very time we raided that place, we recover almost one thousand liters of uh, petroleum products being displayed in jerry cans on top of the bridge okay. all these things uh, were recovered and people were arrested all these uh, people responsible for these sales mm. were also arrested okay all and right charged so, to court there so that means you've been you know sweeping around trying to ensure that you comb all these areas exactly, of, uh, exactly anything that exactly. Uh, is not worth. okay which which is good uh well let, let's uh, look at the restriction of okada across some parts of lagos and um some LCDAs. I know that that was something that the uh, government disturbedly took from as far back as uh, 2021 and all of that. So, how far is that restriction going? Yes, it's still in force and uh, we are enforcing it. We we have uh, taken care of um, all the, virtually all the local governments. There are some of the local governments where we have partial restrictions and uh, some they are total restriction like Kosofe, Oshodi, Solo, uh, Shomolu, Mushin, Apapa, Ikeja, Lagos Island, um, Lagos Mainland, Surulere, Etiosa and mm. uh, all its um, SCDA, those ones are total uh, restricted uh, routes. Uh, we have taken care of them and uh, we are making good uh, um, uh, achievement for right. that. So the question is, uh, when you pick up these people, uh, those that you pick up, uh, those that are arrested for violating the environmental laws, what do you do to them? What, what happens? We arrest and uh, we charge them to court. Okay. Is it the mobile court? The mobile court in no Oshodi there. All right. And uh, once judgment is given, is it that they are uh, they pay fines or what what was the penalty they 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 pay is it that they pay fine and those that cannot meet up with fine i think they 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 take them to prison okay so they are sent to uh their sentence right yes okay all right so that's uh, on the, on the one hand what about the things that are seized from them what happens to them i mean if you say for instance you confiscate this uh, or perhaps they are dealing in contrabands or those that are even in, involved in street trading, what happens to those items that assist? They, we take them before the courts, okay. and the, t the court takes decision on them. On what can be done. Yes. All right. Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM answering the traffic and environmental offenses question in Lagos is our focus. And um, our guest this morning is the chairman, Lagos State Task Force on Environmental and Special Offenses. And I'm talking about CSP. Aditaya Olusegun Akirili very very shortly because I can see that the lines are really really buzzing very shortly I will allow you to also join the conversation let me let you know that um, traffic is still building up those of you around the Ojota end pretty slow and even if you are trying to connect the uh, island as well from the third Milan bridge seven up is where you find the slowness so it's on both sides and we're saying that if you're coming in from this end you might want to avoid that uh, corridor 
probably go through uh, Bank Anthony Way and then that will be much better for you to link up with Korodu Road and proceed on your journey. An accident uh, just by the uh, construction site is uh, it's being worked on right now. I understand it's um, uh, transloading is uh, taking place right now. So within that particular corridor, and so you are also having it heavy. This will be coming in towards Oshu, uh, coming in towards uh, Ojota from the uh, Maryland end as well. Okay then. So uh, very very shortly, I did say I will allow you. But before then, let me still ask uh, the chairman some questions. Uh, there's no gain saying that we have you know an army of uh, social miscreants out there in town well, i mean anywhere you turn to these days if your vehicle breaks down you find some boys that are always hanging around everywhere and they are there from time to time um csp akele what are you doing to take these miscreants off the road yes we have commenced uh, these uh, traffic uh, robbery enforcement okay throughout the the streets i mean throughout the states and um i can tell you that within this uh, uh past two weeks we have arrested over 45 of them 45 yes and they were charged to court traffic robbery yes. uh miscreants miscreants wow. what they do is that they just you see them in the road and uh, what they do they come around your car when there is traffic they try to do like they are selling but they are not actually selling. Mm. So what they do is, they, when they, once they see that people are not watching, they break into your glass and uh, we have been after them since the last two weeks and um, we have made a good uh, um, achievement from these. The ones we have arrested, we charge them to the mobile courts in uh, Oshodi and um, um, the Lord has taken uh, its cause on them. Okay, mm. so you're working on that seriously? Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see, because the, loans, the phones are just buzzing for forever. Let's see if we can now uh, expand the discourse now beyond the studios to begin to have their inputs. Uh, before then, quickly, I needed to respond to the question of um, enforcement of commercial activities around the bridges because um, anyway, you see those bridges now. You have um, some of these people coming there doing trading and all of that and that in the past has led to the destruction or perhaps the deplorable state of those bridges so what's the task force doing to take that out i know that was a charge from mr governor some months back what are you doing in that regard yeah we are working tirelessly on that like i said before that my two on top of uh, my two bridge okay trading activity was going on there until we got there and uh, we remove all of them um including those ones that are selling petroleum products um osho the bridge under the bridge and on top of the bridge there is uh, commercial activity okay. going on there we have taken care of that ikeja under bridge we have taken care of that area too adeniji uh, bridge we have taken care dokwemu we have done all of that and uh, we are still doing it. Okay, so that's something you could, it, it, it's a continuous exercise, Exactly. Right? Okay then, so let's hear from you. 08099120777 and uh, 0915387127. So we're talking uh, issues that uh, relate to what goes on in traffic and where enforcement can come in. And also, we are also talking about environmental offenses. Hello there, good morning. Good morning, my name is Yesufu Ganyu. Yesufu? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, go uh, ahead. My, my question is this, I really appreciate your guest. Okay. But I want to ask one question briefly before the continue. Okay. Is it right Is it right for the members, for the task force to be using private vehicle for enforcement? Do you see that? Yes. Private, uh, the, 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 for the enforcement, they use private vehicle to enforce. Is he right? Is he proper? Okay, very good question. All right, just listen. No, no, I'm not. I'm still having a question. I want the, the, the answer with the, the, my question. We follow the answer. Sir. Oh, okay. All right, chairman. He wants to know: Is it right for your members to the, the, use private vehicles? The truth is that we don't use private vehicles, and all our patrol vehicles are branded. So Hello? the the problem we are having is there are some illegal people outside. Uh, hello, sir. Okay, okay, just just round off on your thoughts. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, my, my question is this. I'm challenging the man. 
Okay. He's a very busy man. I want to swell a vehicle. Let me walk with him for two days. Two hours a day. Huh? You need to calculate that. That's the best boys have been on. From Vega down to Bagada. Okay. So where they use Kono Kwe, to, you know. You see, there, there is always a problem. If you are enforcing law, we have to be very careful about it. In the morning, you know there is going to be hot seats about the traffic situation. If you want to enter any by lane, just as vegetarian and vegan, there is no way you can come in at all. Definitely, people will give you all. Just as that. Right. So, you know, we have to use my But these guys have seen what they now, now. Almost, I, I don't think it's up to 30 seconds now. Okay. Clean this thing in the legality. Is that not the proposed department is not doing his work? They understand. Oh, you know, a guy is so busy, the officer can understand. Right. He has to delegate. But the delegation is not working. But I'm throwing a challenge to me. Mr. Victor, you know me, this is my number. Right. Let me work with that man for two hours a day. I will the vehicle we are going to use. Okay, all right. We've taken it out. Thank, thank, thank you so much yeah. for, for that. So yeah. he is saying that uh, some of your members, uh, some of the task force team, they are always using Kurokwe to do enforcement from Berger towards Yanoguro. So I hope you've taken note of that. Yes, sir. I've, I've taken note. Okay. Oh, 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 are there challenges that are confronting you that makes them to use private vehicles? That's what I've just said. The, all our vehicles are they're, branded. They are branded. The patrol vehicles we use, they are all branded. But what I'm trying to say here is that um, we have a lot of impersonators that we impersonate claim they are police officers but they are not okay we have arrested a lot of them and um, uh, we are we are we are always charging them so and we are after them there is one report i got um last week about some people they were uh they did some group of uh, people came and they claimed tax force they arrested them they did the video we are working on them the vehicle they use we have sent the, because the, 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 the person was able to pick the registration number of the vehicle, we have sent it to the li licensing office for, and we are still working on it. And we'll definitely get at them. All right, then. So, um, Yusufu, uh, I hope that uh, answers your question. 08099120777. That's the numbers that you can connect Hello. with us. Hello there. Good morning. Good morning, please. All right. What's your name? Um, my name is Lukman Kasali. I'm calling from Mikorodu. Go ahead, Lukman Kasali. Let me first and foremost congratulate the chairman on his appointment and the good work he's doing in Lagos State. Thank you very much. I've been to Yanobaya Oshodi in recent time. On like those days where we had to queue for hours to pass those routes. Uh, I can only wish him well. I continue to encourage him for the good work he's doing. Okay. Kudos to you, sir. All right. Thank you. Uh, but uh, that uh, Ojota K2 Alphys needs to be combed. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Thank you so much, Lukman Kasali. Ojota uh, K2 Alphys, he says, it's an area that needs to be combed. Thank you so much. We've taken note of that. 08099120777, Those are the numbers that you can connect with us this morning. We try to see how we resolve as many issues as possible. Some of the ones that you are bringing up, as uh, let the task force chairman be able to address that. So he's talking about Ojota to K2. Are, are, are your men there? We are everywhere. Okay. We are everywhere and we are working on all those areas. We have our bikers. The go around on uh, enforcement too. Okay. Hmm. So that means um, he should be rest assured that. Yes, he should be rest assured that uh, sanity will be done around that place. Is there a time frame for your people to work, really? When we, will I work it? We work 24 hours. It's 24 hours? Yes. Okay. Because uh, sometimes people begin to, uh, you know, bring you those questions in the evening and they say your men are doing enforcement. I have some questions here for you. This one says, good morning, Mr. Victor. I welcome your guest, Akerele, as I know he's a unique name. And those who bear, and those who bear it are, uh, what? What do you call this now? Are bold, okay, all right. Are bold, resilient, and fearless. It says, con considering the limited manpower, can't your agency seek partnership with volunteers on task force? Please, sir, be careful of um, what now? Psychophants, yeah. It says, be careful of psychophants, political bigots, and uh, who may want to rubbish your name 
uh, and your good works. Okay, Ulu Aloko is sending this one in. Ulu Aloko, thank you so much for that one. So I think Hello. he's, he's going to give an advice. Hello there, good morning. Yesufu, yes. Hello, Yesufu. Hello. I can hardly hear you. Okay. All right. Yes, if we try and call us back. Uh, this one says, Good morning, Traffic Radio. How do they carry out enforcement without having issues with, uh, it says, with um, Okada Riders, um, which has been the order of the day prior to his appointment? Okay. Uh, this is Jude sending this one in. So he's saying, how you kind of the enforcement without you having issues with the Okada riders? The issue of uh, Okada enforcement uh, requires uh, um, knowledge and uh, uh, planning. You have to plan it because, you know, to arrest the uh, Okada man, he knows the moment you get the Okada, he's no longer going to get it back. So you want to prevent and protect that Okada with the last drop of his blood mm. so we are always being careful because they don't mind even when they are carrying passenger the moment they side tax force coming after them to take the okada away they won't mind throwing away the passenger that wow. is behind the so we are always being careful so that only and we make that sure way. that we don't allow anyone to escape okay so once we get there we catch all of them there Okay. We won't allow them to escape. So that's just the one and of the secrets. The bags that are seized, what happens to them? Uh, because one begins to wonder that the moment you see this bag, you still have another plethora of uh, motorbikes out there. So you begin to wonder is it to say once they are seized, they are released or what? They forfeit to the court. They forfeit them to the court. Okay. Once they are once they are arrested and um, they are taken to the this thing, they forfeit the. And they are crushed. Uh, bags, and uh, they are crushed. All right, let's take this call. Hello there, good morning. Hello, good afternoon, brother. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I can't hear you. Tell me, tell me, you're alive. I didn't get the name. Mother. Okay, go ahead. Tell us to the top and no, now we can hardly hear you. Your phone, your line is not clear, and of course, your radio is on, so we can hardly hear what you're saying. Okay, okay, so you need to call us back. Uh, that line is not very clear. Uh, this one says uh, open defecation is a common issue in certain parts of Lagos. How is the task force working with uh, communities to eliminate this practice? and improve sanitization. Samuel is sending that one in from Ikeja. So, uh, have you been able to do any kind of enforcement on open defecations? Yes, of course. We have uh, been doing enforcement on that and uh, we have our men on plain clothes. They okay. go around and um, they are at uh, strategic uh, places. So, once they see any of these uh, acts being done, they arrest whoever that is uh, doing that and uh, we charge them accordingly. All right, zero eight zero nine nine one two zero seven seven seven. Hello, good morning. Yeah, good morning. What's your name? My name is Abdulatif Adiola. Abdulatif Adiola, go ahead. I'm calling from uh, Osho the All right. I want you, you want to congratulate the new chairman, the CSP Akele, to congratulate him, and I want to call him for job well done. He's doing in Lagos these days. Like uh, the other time, we go to Yalapaja, Oshodi, everywhere was blocked then. But now, everywhere was perfect. Okay. You make sure you can control all the traffic. And meanwhile, you should keep up the good work. You should keep it up. Okay. You want to just switch in well. All right. So, I, don't, I also want to ask you a question. So, any advice for him? Are there areas you think he, he still needs to touch? Um, the advice I want to give to him is that uh, if you put more pressure on this Okada menace, Okay. The way they are in Lagos, and which I know you have been doing, you have been doing that. You should put more effort, please. Just advising. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Ablatif. Okay. So that's someone who seems to appreciate what you are doing uh, in the state, and uh, we give God the glory for that. You have any area, other areas of concern for my guest this morning? He's the chairman of the Lagos State Task Force on Environmental oh, yeah. and Special Offences. Hello there. Good morning. Okay. 
Hello? Yeah, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yeah, good morning. What's your name? Yeah, I'm uh, Samson. Samson, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Ekwe. Ekwe, Samson, I have the chairman task force on the program this morning. Yeah, I just want to appreciate the chairman for his job well done. Okay. When you are calling to you can see that we got to be calm now. It's all the criminals around. I, I just want to wish him well. Have you seen, have you seen his, uh, his work in Ekwe? Okay. So have you seen his uh, work? Has he been able to carry out any enforcement up to Ekwe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The enforcement I read on paper about the money that was being born. So I think that was a great achievement. Okay. So I want to put my effort by things that come on. All right then. Okay then. Thank you so much. Okay, so uh, Chairman, it appears you're having much more commendations this morning uh, from those who are, are connecting with us. Uh, there's a message here. It's a complaint. It says, good morning, Traffic Radio. Here's a complaint about the task force enforcement. They used to beat drivers before arrest and their boys are acting like hoodlums, harassing drivers and passengers. Also, their boys, it says, also the boys of the task force arrested uh, arrested vehicles at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Uh, till 11 p.m. at night. Uh, well, these your things are not they're very clear. It says they are always with weapons and knives, cutlasses and iron. Okay, all right. So uh, I think this is just uh, bringing your attention that you need to. Do you have enforcement late into the night? There is. Uh, we don't have. Uh a time it, restriction exactly okay we don't have a time uh, but this person seems to be accusing your boys of um you know always doing that late anytime from 8 p.m to 11 p.m they come in harassing people and all of that so i hope uh, that's something you're going to be looking at the the only thing i want to say is because we have taken so much pain to make sure that we get jackets for all our personnel and we make sure that they put their name tag if there is anything, any form of uh, um, issue concerning our personnel that is happening anywhere, they should not hesitate to pick the, the name, name or okay. call our feedback number okay. immediately on the spot and right. they will get a response. All right. I'm sure you'll give that uh, feedback number. As Definitely. The program on. This one says, hello, Victor. How are you doing? Please ask CSP accurately on reports of task force officers allegedly extorting motorists during traffic stops what is being done to address this concern this is coming in for araban b in akonwojo all right so uh, there are reports that uh, some of your men extort people i want to say categorically carry uh, that that cannot be my own personnel ah yes and if there is anything of such happening that person should come up because ever since i even the ones at uh, point I told them so as to avoid issue of extortion and all of that. I said they should not arrest, but do a I mean corrective measure at the spot. And okay. each time I bring this, I mean the union to my office, I tell them this is this policemen that are at this point. This is what they are supposed to so do. So the the, the the transport unions have equally complained to you about this. No 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 no. Because I've had meeting with some of them when I came on board. Okay. They came to my office and I had meeting. It's not uh, that they came to report uh, issues like that. But in my discussion with them, I told them I have men at every point. They are there to do a corrective measure. If there is anybody coming to park on obstruction, you tell them there, don't park, go front, don't, and not for them to arrest. Mm. If I want to make any arrest, I have people I send on uh, on uh, plain clothes. They go around where there are obstructions. They come back, feed me. I mobilize and I lead. Okay, so you you do that kind of. You have that kind of strategy. Exactly. All right then. So I, I will allow you to give that uh, that number for those who come across any of these um, infractions with your men on the road. Probably they see them, uh, you know, extorting people and all of that. What's the contact point? What's the number that they can call? The number is. Zero eight zero eight nine seven zero five zero zero eight. Okay, that's zero eight zero zero eight nine seven zero five zero zero eight. 
All right, then uh, more questions coming in. 08099120777. This one says, Good morning, Traffic Radio. Flooding remains a serious environmental issue in Lagos, partly due to block drainages. What uh, it says, what uh, okay, what proactive steps are you taking to clear illegal structures built on drainage systems? You didn't put your name, by the way. Uh, is that part of your function, too? Is that part of your responsibility for you to? Uh, the 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 only area we can come in there is to make public awareness okay that people should not uh, be dumping refuse in this because it's an uh, environmental uh, issue too people should not be dumping refuse i think it's talking of illegal structures that are built on those channels so on the channels yes it, it's part of my work okay we have we have been demolishing anywhere we see illegal structures on any um, um walkway um, uh, um bridges anywhere we have been and uh, i don't think there is anywhere i will have told them whenever they see anything of such they should come up and tell us mm, okay all right then uh hello there good morning hello good morning Mr. Victor. all right what's your name my name is andrew and good morning yes uh CSP. all uh, right Kelly. andrew nice God to hear from you. you go ahead yes uh, the number you called now, I have it before. I called Abdul Rahman yesterday around after nine. Okay. You can uh, inquire for me, sir. All right. Uh, I made a report of uh, somewhere around Jibou. This was the second time. That was the second time I saw it at night. Mm. If you are coming from uh, uh, Abbott Macaulay, you turn right. You are going to Ikorodu. Mm -hmm. That junction by where you now turn to the left, I think you want to go to Yaba. Mm. You see three junctions. Now that three junction is there, like a triangle. That spot, the small median there is very low, of about uh, six inches. People wash car there. All those cars they used to travel in the morning. Okay. They wash car on top of that place. That was the second time I saw it immediately yesterday. I can't do video for security reasons. I just parked there. I called the person washing the car there. He said, what is my own? I said, no, my own is don't wash car there. It will damage the road. It's asphalt. And two, it will not beautify that place. He now said, I said, okay, no problem. He made I called Abdurrahim. Okay. I described the place, I told him. Abraham now asked me, when do I think what can be done? I said it can be done anytime. Somebody was asking the question, uh, tax force work 8 to, 8 to, 11, to 11 o'clock at night. I stand to be corrected. The work of tax force is for correction and for punitive measure and for awareness and enlightenment. Because I am not a government official. The work of any tax force is to put things right. So they can work at any time. I stand to be corrected. I still say it. Okay. Because there are some work you do, like the one I'm talking about now. If they want to do that, it's a single operation. It will be done at night, not in the daytime. All right. That's um, that's our taking, Thank uh, Andrew. Morning. Thank you so much for that. So that means uh, that's uh, areas of concern. This one says, dear tax force chairman, he said, how do you enforce the laws in medical quackery in the pharmaceutical sector as as um, there is established by law a task force on fake and substandard drugs uh it says the it says with the director of uh, pharmaceutical services as a uh, chairman supervising members from the federal and the state government as well as uh, the private sector in the pharma industry he said isn't this a conflict of responsibility Thank you so much. Uh, what's your name? Wuraola. Okay, so do you do enforcement of uh, medical uh, and uh, medical quackery as well? Uh, statutorily, we do that in partnership with the Ministry of Health. Okay, so that means you're supposed to work with this particular... Yes, with the Ministry of Health. That is, yeah. uh, Wuraola is talking about. Yeah. All right, this one says, Good morning, Traffic Radio. What efforts are you doing to curtail uniformed men in false ways riding okada and driving commercial buses on lagos roads it says your efforts on iyanopaja is highly commendable uh this is olufemi sending this one in so what are you doing for some of your men that are you know 
wear uniform and they are riding Okadas in banned areas, restricted areas. They are not uh, accepted from the from the from the law. We arrest them. We have a good number of them, you know, coming with letters and all of that. But we have refused. The law is the law, and it must be obeyed. Okay. So that means you are still picking them up as well. Exactly. Ah, all right. Uh, 08099120777 zero nine one five three eight seven seven one two seven. Uh, this one says the Marwa and Korokwe Park needs to be defined. Those boys harassing uh, passers-by need to be worked on at Agege. And kudos to him. Shegun sending this one in. Uh, Agege is a, is a particular spot, but let's take his call. Hello there, good morning. Good morning, Victor. All right, what's your name? My name is Babat Sunday. I'm calling for my brother. Nice to hear from uh, you, Babat Sunday. It's been quite a long while. Good morning to the chairman of the task force. Uh, Good morning, sir. Believe, uh, in their enforcement or in their enlightenment, whatever it is, mm. they need to work with Lashma on, especially uh, Ikeja alone. These Okada people, they are consultants on that route. Just when they don't see them for one day, the whole place is flooded. And again, we have some uniformed men. You see them, they are wear gallant people. They are part of those who are contributing most of the problem in those places. Also, there are some roads, I understand he said they have some plain clothes uh, people. Mm. The uh, junctions, if you want to climb the Keja Bridge, coming from customs, you see commercial vehicles turning from coming from Ikeja from customs to turn into going out to towards Lagos Country Club route. And there are about three or four junctions like that. They tried there. They tried it around uh, in front of GTB Bank. Mm. They tried in front of uh, uh, Lagos Country Club. Because these are road digestions. But just because the divider is a bit low, mm. they turn and they cause accidents on some of the routes, on some of the places. Okay. Then I just wanted to ask, can we call the number and give out in, for some shanties that are built on the main roads, especially on the, this Idimo Road? You will find them there so much on the Dimo Road, okay. right from the stretch of junction of Akuwanjo up to the roundabout of the Dimo, where you have the Dimo local office on the main roads. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Robertson, for that one. Uh, he will definitely give those numbers again uh, if you have those. But you've heard what Robertson has said. Uh, those uh, commercial bus drivers, what are you doing to them? We are arresting them. We are arresting them. It's only like, uh, like. Uh, one of the callers said that uh, they are recalcitrant. When you arrest them today, you see them committing and we continue to arrest them. All right. This one says, good morning, sirs. Illegal street trading continues to be a major problem, especially in places like Oshudi. Says, how does the tax force plan to balance enforcement with the livelihoods of these traders? But Batunde is sending that one in. Uh, more messages coming in for you. And I know that time is not really our friend. This one says yellow buses often park uh, discriminately to pick passengers, causing traffic. It says, How do you plan to enforce order at bus stops? I think, I think that was very similar to what uh, Babatunde mm -hmm. just said. But let's begin to take this home now. The numbers again for those who missed it, the numbers that you called, if they see any infractions on the road and would like your intervention, what are the numbers again? 080. Eight nine seven zero five zero zero eight. I call it again. Okay. Zero eight zero eight nine seven zero five zero zero eight. All right. Let's take this home this morning. So, what's your message? What's your parting thought to our listeners this morning as a round of the program? Well, I want to uh, appeal to Lagosians that we should try as much as possible to obey the law to obey the law and uh, do what is right at all time. All right, then. We'll leave it to that for now. It's nice having you in the building. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much, Mr. Victor. All right. So I've been speaking with the chairman, Lagos State Tax Force on Environmental and Special Offenses.
And I'm talking about CSP Aditayo Olushegun Akerele. I must say a big thank you to you for making it to the studio this morning at very, very short notice. We have to go. Dayo Anthony has produced the program. Maximum thanks to Bade Yonka Abdurrahim. He's the Director of Public Affairs for the Legal State Task Force on uh, Special and Environmental Offenses. Thank you so much. Uh, also in the building as well, praise Uli Messi as well as uh, Basirat Ibrahim. I will say a big thank you to you. Uh, of course, uh, the social media team, we do appreciate your Kwebi Shonunke and Deborah Bolidioku, our executive producer is Tayo Akonli. My name is Victor Terry. You need to stay tuned because by 10.15, it's going to be the benchmark and today, it's going to be a very, very unique one indeed. So connect with us from then. <laughs>